And listen guys, this is not a how-to or not how-to video. This is basically me showing off what I built. And I'd like to give thanks to the guys that helped me do this. And end up by just starting the machine and letting you guys listen to it. So, here it goes. What have I missed? You see the back hitch? Weight rack thing I made? Nothing special. I'll show you. It's got a little kind of uh, mud flaps, mud guards. They don't really do anything. They just <laughs> look good. It's just a flat piece of steel with one bolt going down through the hitch hole and there's two arms coming up to the mounting for the rock shaft arms. And I got cotter pins. There's an adjuster bolt back here that you might be able to see. Actually, the adjustment for the the drive is is back here. So, so when the pedals are both in their idle positions, loose, you got your foot off them, for example, that the machine stays stopped. Okay. See the insert in my steering wheel is gone. I had to pull the whole top off steering column off this machine. Just the other day for for uh, fixing the drive shaft. So what you got here? I'll show you my starter. Starter is a is a um, Hitachi unit. Get in closer. See more of the mounting points. I swapped over to the original <clears throat> cadet pulley here. And I painted the grill white as you can see. The grill might, housing might be a little bit longer. If one wants to put a, a HD cup here, which I painted the hood and then I painted the grill casting last so I wasn't sure you know by the time everything came together I didn't put these decals on well yeah I did too I painted the hood attached this front grill got this all painted put together put this decal on the 129 I put on a lot later because I want to make sure it lines up with the rest of the straight which it almost does maybe if you pull it down a little more but by that point I did I wasn't interested in that anymore what's the point I, I had to, I would have had to do it with a, a paint pad or something and that wouldn't wouldn't have looked right so I gotta tell you about the grill here because that is a other piece of engineering headache ingenuity uh, however you like to put it so what you see here, the center bar, is a piece of three-quarter inch square tube that I put in a vise and I smashed it flat. So the back side of this is flat, the front side is pointed slightly, it's got a little bit of a dinge in it. I thought, yeah, maybe I should fill that in with body filler like I did down here. I was going to use epoxy. I started with epoxy, filled it with steel shish steel and aluminum shavings to kind of fill this in very well. You see a little bit of a pucker hole there. It's one of the holes that I had the thread, drill and thread for the mounting bolt. But overall, I was really happy with it. What I wanted it to be is this grill has to be as proportional as humanly possible to the international grill. So. As you can see, that is a decal, that is a decal. The smallest one I could find, IH sticker, or emblem, like the big tractors have, was for a Super C, which is my other machine, and I put it on here and I just was not sure if I liked it. And then I said, well, let me just cut out a piece of maybe quarter inch thick UMHW 
I just stick this decal on the MHW, put the MH, give it some standout, some 3D effect, but I, it, it did, I tried it, and the UMHW block just did not work out the way I wanted it to, so I, I put that on there like that, with the sticker backing, I wanted the sticker backing for the correct paint color, the, the right kind of lines, I figured by the time you're 10 foot away from this, where you're going to be for taking real pictures, and if I back up three foot, shoot, what does that thing look like? A little international or no? The other thing I discovered years ago is I got this piece of screen off of uh, online metals. They're pretty expensive, but they're mostly for uh, little, little projects like mine here. And the thing I noticed years ago is the flat black paint color just doesn't let you look through your screen. I'm like, well, he wants to see my color. That's what the side view is for. So what I did here, as you can see, it's a little rusty. I did some grinding. I'm probably, probably not quite as pretty as it should be. But the most lacking thing that I can see in the the picture here, the grill is the obvious height. The height wasn't right. So I said, well, let's use quarter inch square bar down here. Well, that actually is two quarter, it's a quarter quarter by one. I welded it together. It started out as two quarter by halves. The square bars up the sides here is half by half square bars welded back to back, which would really should really be a half by one and the upper ones the same thing quarter inch by one inch the bars in the middle half a half half a half and I was intending to put this grill that's inside out the way it is I'm not sure it'll fit in if I flip it around so it is the way it is for now maybe someday when I got time I'll try and flip this around now the screen on the back here basically just laid it everything on top of each other cut it out to fit and then there's a pop rivet from the back side through this screen into this bar through the screen into this bar and from that there's a and I'll show it show you just a spring well you can't really see it as good as I can I just pop it over to a strip of the leftover grill screen, hook the extra cub governor spring and actually the head around here, and drill a hole right there. It's really stretched tight, haven't had it fall out as of yet. I just couldn't figure out what I wanted to do, so, but that's what I came up with. Just rebuild this motor. It's got melee piston, D style piston, and the all color rod. It's got the, uh, just a regular old coil, I guess. With high performance wire. Brand new carburetor. It also has the, the, uh, delete for the slobbery breather that I made myself. I just hammered the old air vents flat and welded a pipe union, just a straight female fitting, and then cut off the backside. Ran a holds barb in there. That holds runs down underneath the oil fill thingy and out the front. I'm gonna bring you around the bottom. Let's see if I can get it on camera. Where is it? It'll make me lay down it. Oh, there it is. Comes right over the front axle. Straight out the front. Just a piece of. 38 fuel line. Now the other thing I need to tell you guys about is if you ever go for this fix 
using a three quarter inch bolt well had to grind my head off because it was in the way of my mounting for my mule drive the guy that's got that on the internet maybe not may not have known it that it'll do that to you but you may be smarter not using a grade 8 bolt and going for grade 5 instead cutting the head off then there is a the original pins out in there by a cross pin just a roll pin or something spring pin you could put a cross hole through your bolt and then put the spring pin through that that way there's no head head there I had to modify my mule drive to fit on here because well I wanted to go mow grass and I had this problem so that's what you can do just cut off the head put a cross hole through it put a cross pin through it the way it originally was and then your nut on the back side should work I had to cut my lock nut off I think I think it, it cut my it's pretty shitty underneath here but if you look there yeah I had to cut my nut off in order to see there you can see it just a little bit bolt straight up against the oil pan but that's a good idea I mean this will cure I I'd say up to almost three-fourths of your steering slot right now the sucker's loose again what I ought to do is take the engine out so I can get to the dumb thing and I go out and buy another bolt and cut the head off and put a cross hole through it just the way it should have been when I first did it but hey I didn't know but I'm putting it on the video guys now you you know tell your buddies and share the thing I mean this isn't here for anything but to give more knowledge to the, the guys out there well the next thing here is a snow plow looks a little different I'll have to drag this out somewhere where or we can video it and I'll tell you I'm gonna start this little critter actually I'm gonna sit in the seat Grab my keys off my seat. Sit down. Boogie boo. I love it. No choke. It's only freezing. It's not a big deal. Get a little joke. Get a little joke. 